Hi, I'm Danae Matthews with the Dunn Matthews Law Firm. And today I want to talk to you about communication. Proverbs 15 and 1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Have you ever been speaking with your co-parent and they say something that is just horrible or that you feel is just horrible? What does it immediately do to you? Does it make you want to respond in a nice, kind manner? Or does it make you at sometimes want to respond in a way that gives them back exactly what feelings they gave you? Think about that. Think about the way that your co-parent has made you feel at times. And when you are speaking with them, make sure that you're using soft, kind words. It doesn't have to be something that if you're male that you find wimpy or um, that she is domineering over you. And if you're a woman, it doesn't have to mean that you're just ruthless. It just means that you are taking steps and you find it important to make sure that you are co-parenting in an effective way that's going to benefit your children in the long run. Why can't we talk about school events? Why can't we talk about extracurriculars or even the simple day-to-day -day things related to our children? It's because of the way in which we speak to one another and the way in which your words are perceived by the receiving party. I like to make sure that when my clients communicate with their co-parents, going to be in their best interest and protect their spirit and their minds, right? But in a way that's also going to make the other person feel as if you care. Um, and that you're taking them and their feelings into consideration because at the end of the day, it results in better parents, better co-parents, and happier children. Again, I'm Danae Matthews of the Dunn Matthews Law Firm. And I would love to help you become a better communicator and a better parent.